Hi, babies. It's me, Julissa. So, um, this is not really uh, like a reflection video, uh, I guess. It's more of a, um, like a shout out video um, just to say that everybody pretty much who knows me knows that I have some kind of trouble sometimes meeting decent men. It's just how it is. And I, you know, through college, I went through that phase where I was just like, man, you know, my feminist phase, and I just didn't want to be bothered with men and all these things. And what I realized is that you cannot turn a joker into a king. I can't turn a joker into a king. But God can clean up anybody for his glory. And this young man is is funny. He's funny. But he also knows when to be serious. He has a off the map, off the charts gift of discernment. And I've never seen anything, you know, like it. It's it's wonderful. You know, I I I don't meet a lot of men who can boldly speak about God and can not only boldly speak about God and be passionate about um, God's um, gospels, preaching about God, you know, telling people about teaching about God's gospels, but also a man who can walk in God's love, truth, and peace. Uh, a man who is not afraid to, um, you know, face the reality. Um, of his own situation or the situation of others, a man who um, keeps God first and puts God first. It, it's a, it's just great. It, it's amazing. And I always found that in the past, it was a situation where I was attracted to potential in guys. I never really, you know, saw the reality of the situation, and. I, I was like, you know, there's so much potential for so, for a guy to, to be a great, you know, if he just accepted Christ and he, you know, he read God's word and figured out and found out through God's word who he was, you know, because through Christ, we are kings and queens. Through Christ, we are princes and princesses and we are, God is the, the king, you know, he is the king over every everything, everybody, every creation and we are royalty. We are his children. And it's just amazing to know that when you find that out, when you figure out who you are through Christ, you walk different, you talk differently, you have a different um, presentation about yourself, you take care of yourself. And, you know, the other thing I realized is that there's a difference between a man of God and a man of the world, you know, and but just because a man is a man of God doesn't mean that that man can, is walking in the mind of Christ or with the mind of Christ and that's one thing that you know I have met men in the past who loved God who was on fire for God's love and you know who were just so passionate when they met me about God and at the time I wasn't very passionate but they were just so passionate on fire and then as time went on that fire dwindled and as time went on it just as, as time went on, I started to realize that they haven't realized who they are through Christ yet. And, you know, that's why I pray. I pray that God um, brings more men into um, the churches, into the ministries and um, things of that nature. That um, Because the other thing I found is that a lot of men that I was meeting in the past, they demanded respect from me for some reason. They wanted me to, to respect them and they wanted me to, to treat them like they were high and mighty and, you know, ooh, look at me, look at me, and I'm a man, you know, ooh, I'm cool, oh, I'm awesome, you know, and I thought about it and I'm like, you're not awesome. You're really not awesome. And you're not awesome, not because 
of your you as a person at them as a person but they were awesome because they couldn't be honest with themselves or other people they just couldn't walk in god's truth they just couldn't be truthful and and they they just couldn't understand the concept that unconditional love is the greatest gift in the world it's the most powerful gift in the world and i i kept trying to understand why these men just weren't understanding and why they just weren't getting it like why they just were so set on believing that their intelligence their own strength was going to get them to where they needed to be was going to get them uh, a breakthrough was going to get them the success that they had hoped for no it's not by our strength it's not by our intelligence god God gives us the strength that we need, and God gives us the intelligence, the knowledge that we need to do all these things. All these things. And at first when I met this young man, I was just like, whatever, he's so nice, and oh my gosh, and he's just going to just play this game of, oh, I love God, and then turn around and be a jerk, but he stayed true to his word. Everything that he, that, that he said that he was about, he was about. And everything that he promised that he would do, he would do. I didn't have to hunt him down and call me. And I didn't have to beg him to, to um, you know, learn about me in any way. Because the best way to learn about me is through my writing. I'm not really good at public speaking, which is partly why I make these videos. Um, and I just didn't, you know, it was just... It was just awesome to be with a man, to finally be with a man. I'm like, wow, like, you're a man because you are honest. You're honest. You don't have to go around and, and he, the thing about it is, is he doesn't go around flaunting, you know, like, oh, look at me, and pump it on his chest, and, you know, all this, uh, this extravagant stuff, you know, and, um, let me show you what I created, my intelligence, you know, I'm so smart, and even that doesn't impress me. Muscles don't impress me. Someone who's really, I mean, oh, I, can, I can meet a rocket scientist, and he could tell me all these facts about chemistry, and, you know, uh, putting this with that, and mixing whatever liquids, and um, computer engineering, and all these things. He could, whatever, I can meet a scientist, which, you know, me, I'm partly a scientist myself, and I like it, but what I know, I only know in part. I don't know everything. And when I don't know something, I ask God, and God shows me. Or he introduces me to someone who knows. And that's where the faith comes in. This, this young man has extraordinary faith. And not only that, but he's a praying warrior. He loves to pray. And... I don't even have to say anything and he just already knows because his gift of discernment God gave him a gift of discernment that is just off the map you know it's so sharp and it's it's really good you know and the whole time I was I was out in the world trying to find a man of the world so I could mold him and to be uh, you know a man who is after God's heart and God was like you don't have to do that because I already molded someone you know, I already have men molded that are after my heart. I've already cleaned them up, and I've already fixed them, and I've already, you know, showed them my love, and they, this is it. And it's just amazing, you know. And I also want to say that you can't be with someone who's broken. Any man who still... Um, I mean, this is not just for men, it's also for women too. Women can be broken too. Um, any man or woman who is broken still talks about their ex-wife or husband, still dreams about wanting to be with their ex-wife or husband, still, you know, tries to figure out ways to be with their ex-wife or husband, just still lives in the past. I I'm sorry, just pray for those people and let them go because they're never going to see and recognize what they have in front of them and, and until God cleans up their heart and it's sad because I have a gift I like to call it a gift to see potential the highest potential in people and when I see it I get excited because I'm like yeah I know it I know 
that once God cleans them up, they're gonna be they're gonna be great. They're good. God can use them for God's glory. Like God can use them for His glory, and they're gonna be awesome. And you know, people are gonna be saved, and their lives are gonna be transformed, and they're gonna find love, and they're gonna be happy. But then when I see them rolling around their mediocrity, when I see them being depressed and sad about things they have no control over, when I see them, you know, crying about old things, which, you know, I can't fault anybody for because I sometimes do too. I cry over my mom sometimes, you know, and it's sad, yeah, she passed away a long time ago, but it's something that I pray and I ask God to just heal me, continue to clean me up, heal me, and just work on me. You know, I, I, it's a constant daily thing because I can't be a benefit to anybody, help anybody, if I'm still living in the past. If I'm still so focused on my own issues and worries and stresses and problems that I can't see anybody else. Even if I have issues and problems, I still go out into the world and find somebody. You're a perfect stranger. Sit and I talk to them. How's your day? How how are you doing? How do you feel today? You okay? You need some water? You wanna, you know, let's go get something to eat. You know, and I I try. I I I try to go out there and do that. And you know that's what I hope. I hope to see more men. More men who are on fire for God's love. More men who are passionate about God. More men who just want to 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 just live and 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 and, and breathe God, you know, God's love. More men who are not afraid to go out there and just speak about the gospels, preach about them, teach people about them. More men who are who aren't afraid to just just be who they are, you know, and you don't have to make jokes and you don't have to to try to impress anybody. You don't have to do that. You live for God. You're already oppressive. You 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 walk in God's truth, love and perfect peace. People are already impressed by you. And that's what I'm praying for. I'm praying that, that there be more men in the church, more men in the ministry that are just on fire for God's love and ready, ready to be on the battlefield for God. And, and that's what I'm talking about. Because see me, I don't want to be on the sidelines and, you know, watching everybody else. And you no, know, I want to be out there. I want to be out there in the world. I want to be out there giving hugs to people who feel hopeless. I want to be out there smiling opening doors being a blessing to other people and that's that's what i see in this young man he is a blessing to other people and maybe he doesn't realize it but i realize it every i mean perfect strangers you know are just smile at him and just receive him with warm welcoming and just treat him really nice and really sweet he's very blessed in his life and that is just amazing amazing and all the times that I cried and I, I got my heart broken and I was chasing after guys who just didn't, who just wouldn't appreciate, you know, just wouldn't appreciate the love and light inside of me. I told myself, wow, never again, never again will I ever let a man, like, I, never again will I let myself be involved with a man who cannot appreciate the love and light in me. I mean, I'm just, it's just amazing, you know, and some people are like, well, you know, you, you still talk about men and analyze them and, you know, but you know what though, I realized that with this young man, even with my nature of analyzing and being a social scientist, he doesn't get offended. He doesn't get offended. He doesn't, um, you know, attack my character. He doesn't have anything to prove. He doesn't stomp around and get mad when I tell him the truth about something. No. He just takes it in, calmly analyzes it, and then he replies. You know, he's very wise for a young man, extremely wise. And I don't normally make videos about guys because mm, I don't. Most of the time, I don't think much about men because most of them are just a bunch of waste of time, you know, and, or let me say most of the ones I've met are just a bunch of waste of time. But I tell you, I tell you, once you meet a man who treats you like a lady, who treats you like a queen, 
who recognizes the light and love of God inside of you, you can never go back. Never, ever go back to, to whatever else you were doing because it's just not going to match. Anyway, that's my story. And so I pray that God will send more men on fire for his love in the ministry and in the churches and that, you know, there will just be more, more young, even young men, what? young men, teenagers. I want to see more young teenagers too in, um, in the ministry, you know, and, and in God's churches and, and just being on fire for his love and sharing it, you know, and it's awesome. It's so awesome. Anyway, let me cut this short. I love you.